Hey there, welcome to Exit. I'm your trainer, Kelsey Lee, and guess what? Today we are going to get some stretch on because you've been asking, can we do a stretch session or something to do after these awesome workouts? So we're gonna do that for you. So go ahead and get started on the ground and just kind of relax. Make sure you're not all tense and frustrated, and even if you are, it's okay, because this will help. So make sure you have a mat or something that's not gonna be abrasive on your knees. So we're gonna start in this position, kind of neutralize the spine, so you're gonna flex like hyper extend almost, and then come up. So you're gonna pull the pelvis in, up through the abs, and back down. Okay, so force the spine down through the lower lumbar, pull it back up, activate the core, and back down. Just a couple times of this, and then we're gonna move forward. Pull the spine up. So you're not just hunching, you're pulling through, center of the spine. Okay, so stay where you are and go ahead into child's pose like this. Try to keep your seat close to your heels, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to touch. Reach, reach, reach with your fingers. Okay, I want you guys to think about every time you exhale, we reach a little more and that's how we gain flexibility, all right? And generally speaking, I'll tell folks, let's hold all of our stretches for 30 to 45 seconds. If you're really working for more flexibility, we can hold it for 45 to 60. Today we may not meet those numbers exactly, but we can try, okay? Reach forward. A couple more seconds. And although I'm looking up at you guys and you might be looking up at me right now, just make sure that you're, you're dropping your head so you're not holding your neck up, okay? You really maximize the stretch that way. All right, now pull it up nice and slow, slow, slow. Okay, next one, we're gonna get our quads. We can do these standing or seated. So, we're gonna fold one behind us, okay? One leg out straight, so we can actually start here with a hamstring stretch and then move into quads. So let's do that first. So fold it over. You got it, nice and slow. And no bouncing, okay? I see a lot of folks doing this. Give your muscles a, a chance to elongate, okay, and relax. Fold over a little more. I know we're looking at each other here, but try not to hold your neck up. Just drop your head. Really fold over. Hang in there, keep going. Relax through the hamstrings, so if you need to, slight soft knee, so your leg isn't bent, but it's not locked out and pushed straight. A few more seconds. And this, this session is really just gonna teach you guys how to do some fundamental stretching. You can obviously take this on your own time and do these longer. Again, 30 to 45 seconds per stretch, okay? Okay, bring it up nice and slow. And let's bring it back and stretch out this quad. If you have sensitive knees, I prefer that you stand up and pull one leg behind you. If you're okay, let's go ahead and bring it back. Feel the stretch through the outside of the quad primarily. Remember, relax those knees. You can even pull it over to the side, okay? And that way your knee is actually behind you. Why don't we try this? I prefer this more because if your, your leg's out to the side, it's a little tougher on those knees. So pull it back. And you don't want your knee to come all the way up. You wanna keep it nice and close to that other leg. Okay, got that one down. All right, relax and pull it back up and let's switch. Okay, so you saw my flexibility on my left leg, not the same on my right. If you were with us a couple weeks ago, you saw that I pulled my hamstring well, it was a hamstring groin pull, and those are not fun. First time ever doing that. So, still recovering. So if you have tight hams or any kind of a, a previous injury, take this slow. You don't want to re-pull anything. And again, those muscle fibers, we got to give them a chance to elongate, okay? And it's a process. It's not like stretch for two days and then you can jump into the split. Because then you will have a hamstring groin pull. <laughs> Okay, lay over it if you can. Don't copy me, because I can't go as far down on this leg. Good work. And we're gonna hold this one a little longer. 
And always, again, you hear me talking about mind and muscle connection when we're doing things like working out and isolating certain muscle groups. But when we're stretching, we're using a mind and muscle connection also, thinking about, okay, are we relaxing through the hamstring? Are we engaging a certain part of our body? Things like that, okay? All right, a few more seconds. Lean over a little more. Remember, every time you exhale, we're gonna reach. No bouncing, no pulsing. All right, so try to reach your toe a little more. A few more seconds. All right, so bring it up nice and slow. Okay, we're gonna bring it back. Actually, let me face you guys. Remember what we did for our, our quads? So we're gonna pull it over like this so it's easier on our knee and pull back. And you absolutely can do this standing up. A lot of folks are really surprised when they start doing this stuff, how tight their hands and their quads are. So definitely start incorporating these things into your daily routine, okay? Pull back a little more. All right, bring it up nice and slow. This next one, I want you guys to fold one leg in the front, okay? Like this. I'm not gonna ask you guys to do the splits. Don't you worry if you guys are like, I do not stretch ever, okay? So bring that back leg out, okay? You should feel a stretch through the outside of your T-band area, the outside of the leg, on your folded leg, okay? And you can kind of adjust as needed to feel more of a stretch. For me, if I kind of put my hands down, bring my chest up, I'm gonna feel a lot more. Okay, let's lay it over. And again, if you guys really want to get intentional, bring a timer out or watch your phone or the clock or something. And seriously, 30 seconds to 45 seconds per stretch. And of course, get along with me today on this so you get in your groove. And a lot of folks are like, stretching is the worst part of my routine. I don't want to do any of it. But I'm telling you, if you want long lean muscles, if you want injury prevention, if you want your workouts to be maximized, you've got to stretch, okay? Bring it up. Go ahead and switch. Even all you buff boys out there, you've got to stretch too. <laughs> all right, pull it up through the chest. Use your hands, reposition your body so you feel most of the stretch through that outside, through the T-band area, also through the, the bottom of the glute. Doing good, hang in there. Really elongate that back leg, okay? Let's fold it over. You'd be amazed. I know every, at the end of all my boot camp sessions or group X classes, we do stretching and it is like the dessert of the workout. So make sure you're taking time to do that because your body will definitely thank you. And if you have a high stress job or life is just crazy, this stuff helps a lot. Okay, bring it back up. Okay, bring these in. All right, so hang out where you are. We're actually gonna put both legs in front of us, hit the hamstrings again. For you folks who are like six foot and stuff, don't try to get your hands all the way past your feet, okay? I'm five foot three, just in case you're wondering. I can get away with five foot two. Just depends what she's been wearing. All right, lay over it. Remember, drop the head down. If you want to hit the calves also, then flex your feet back. Those toes should point towards you. With every exhale, try to reach a little more. Reach, reach, reach. And we could definitely hold these stretches a lot longer, but for time's sake and get through the session and not making you too bored, we'll get through it a little quicker. So bring that up nice and slow. Okay, so we're gonna lay on our backs for this next one. Okay, so make sure you're actually neutral spine position first. Then bring your leg up, fold it over with a bend. Focus on keeping this guy over here, this shoulder, this arm on the floor. 
Good work, lower back. Also through this T-band area a little bit, top of the glute. So yeah, the goal here is to obviously get this leg onto the floor, keeping this arm and that shoulder touching the floor as well. And if your, your spine did a little popping, that's okay too. All right, let's bring that in. So as we do this, we're gonna pull our knee up towards our body, keep it in this position, out nice and slow, okay? Same thing here, pull it up. This guy stays over here on the floor, okay? Lay it over. And a lot of you guys have commuting to do in the mornings or the afternoons, evenings from work or whatever you do. You gotta do this stuff, because if we're sitting in the car all day, oh my gosh, there's just compression through the back and our, our hips and everything. So do this stuff, I promise it serves a purpose. You'll feel so much better. Pull that knee over a little, guys, all the way. Keep that shoulder on the ground. Okay, bring that in. Remember how we do that? Pull in the knee, nice and slow. Bring it out. Okay, so staying on the ground. All right, point the toes and elongate the legs. Relax through the spine and the neck. Relax the shoulders, let those drop back. Okay, we're gonna pull our leg up through the knee. So ergonomically, your body's gonna, your, this leg is gonna come out just a bit. You may not be directly up, but your hip may be rotated out a little bit and you're actually going to maximize the stretch if you open up through the hip just a bit. So pull that in. Good job, if you're hanging out with me and doing these, I promise, be consistent, this stuff is good for you. Your body will be happy. We want happy bodies, don't we? Pull it up a little more. You want that top of your quad to get as close to your body as possible, okay? All right, now let's elongate that leg nice and straight. Bring the other one up. There you go. And I know I said that ideally we'd be holding these for 30 to 45 seconds, but if you don't have a lot of time, just hold them five to 10 seconds. A little is better than nothing, so. Just make sure you're doing something, okay? All right, go ahead and elongate that leg, bring it out. Go ahead and sit up. Okay, we can actually stay where we are. We're gonna have our shoulders come out like this. Okay, so notice I'm not here. Bring it down towards your wrist. You're gonna feel more of a stretch that way. Good job. Up the shoulders back, don't be hunched up. Okay, and let's switch. Other arm, pull it out through the wrist, there you go. And we could clearly be standing for some of this stuff, but just for, for the sake of cameras and being here, I'm just gonna stay on the mat for most of these, okay? Pull, pull, pull. All right, triceps are next. Okay, so pull it up. There you go. Reach in between those shoulder blades. Let's get ready and switch. Good job. And let us know if you guys were happy with seeing a stretch session, what you thought, if you stuck it out the whole time, if you're gonna take some of this and do it on your own for the full 30 to 45 seconds. Let us know what you think. Okay, bring that down. Okay, so if you have a wall or something, you can go against a wall, stretch out the chest. If not, it's no big deal. Or if you have a partner to do this with, have them pull your arms back. But for now, I'm just gonna clasp our hands Bring it back, drop the shoulders down. And about halfway through, I'm gonna rearrange my grip. So if you see my grip here with my hands, halfway through, let's go ahead and switch. Okay. Drop the shoulders down. 
Almost done here. And to the forearms. Okay, so bring those down. Everything feel okay? All right, so for forearms, looks a little funny, but just fingers pointing you backwards. Try to bring those wrists towards the ground, okay? You can also use your knees. Doing the knees, just take it slow. Especially if you're not a big stretcher. We gotta give those muscle fibers a chance to elongate and relax and get conditioned like the rest of your body when you start working out. Keep it going. A few more seconds. And you'd be surprised, we hold a lot of tension all over our body, but a lot of times people don't think about their forearms being something they need to stretch. Totally is. Okay, slowly bring that back up. You feel that? And if you want, you can move your wrists around. Okay, do some of this. Some ideas. Obviously hold it. All right, let's hit our neck. So I'm actually gonna have you guys stand up with me, please. Okay, standing up, standing up. All right, so over to one side. And I want you to bring your arm up behind you like this. Okay. Don't start dancing. We have people dancing over here, you can't see. It's pretty amazing. They're funny. So hang that neck over. Good job. Roll it to the front and switch. Other arm. This is a good one if you sit at a desk all day. I am telling you, take some time. Stretch your neck out. It's a good thing. Okay, roll it to the front. Okay, we're gonna roll to the front, not all the way back, but just to the front a couple times. So three times each way, so a total of six. So all the way, just to the front. Nice and slow. A few more of these. One more. Okay, go ahead and take your fingers and just gently pull down in the front. Notice I have a soft knee here. Helps me elongate my spine a bit. All right, go ahead and bring it up. And that's it. What do you guys think? I hope you feel stretched out and relaxed. Make sure you do this at least a couple of times a week, especially if you're doing a lot of our X hit videos because a lot of them are super high intensity and we don't want injuries. And we want you to be increasing your conditioning and your flexibility and being safe too. So let us know what you thought. Make sure you subscribe to us here on Exit. Leave a comment, of course, and follow me on Twitter at KelseyLee.com.